second escape that we're going to look at from control three, this broken scarf hole position is called the Demon of Maya. I'd love to have an escape named after me, but there you go. Sometimes, again, this base position is a big thing because Ryan's going to be slightly towards me like we talked about when we were playing how to keep this position. So I'm making a frame here. Plus it's across his throat, which kind of makes a road fire for him. And again, sometimes, you know, I have this and, and he's not bringing this arm across. He's just keeping it here. So I have to do something else if that's the case. I haven't got the options of going for the, the Heisman escape. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to bring my elbow tight, okay, to my, my right hip, my right elbow to my right hip. It's also going tight into Rand's right hip, okay. Um, let's just turn around, bro. So, from this position, all I'm going to do is drop my right knee to the mat. So I'm just angling my knee. Okay? So my leg is bent, I just drop it so it's right at his arse. Okay? And then I'm just going to do a slight hip pump. Get around my hip. Okay? From that position, I'm on my right hip. I'm just going to hip escape on my left. to take him over. Back into the position again. Okay? So, one more time on that. Might take a couple of um, hip bumps to actually get them on my hip. So from a position, I'm, I'm getting to this like safety position. So my, my forearms are here. Possibly he's not giving me the Heisman because I need to bring his arm. Or he needs to bring his arm over there to just keep that inside control. So I bring my elbow to my body. My right elbow to my body is tight to this right hip. I'm just going to drop my right my right knee to the mat so it's bent. It's like a 90 degree bend, and I've got it. As, as tight as I can to his arse. Now I'm going to bump my hips and I'm going to try and connect my right elbow to my right knee. So, see the way um, Rand's on my right hip? If he's playing this, uh, put a little bit more pressure on me. He's going to be on the ground, yes. The way he's right in that sweet spot, it's uncomfortable for me. I'm just going to do one bump. And now he's sitting on the inside of my right thigh. Okay, he's not on my hip anymore. And now because he's connected to me, wherever I go, he goes. So I'm not pushing him. See the way I'm on my right hip? I just, um, well, yeah, I'm making a frame of my left arm and shoulder, but I'm hip escaping. So I'm just turning my hip this way. And then I'm back. The broken scar. Okay, one more time on that. Here. So I'm in my position. I'll make my frame. Get my elbow in. Drop and hit my knee in the mouth. Do a slight bump, I have to do that several times. Okay, and when I feel he's on my hip, I just have to escape from being on my right hip to being on my left hip. And I'm in. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to counter that because it's really simple as well. So I just stick that in, okay? So I'm in my scarf hold position, let's just see if you can do the escape bro. Make the frame, you've inside control, you're gonna drop your right knee to the mat, yeah, and bring it tight to my arse. Yeah, bring your knee right up. Now you're looking to connect your elbow to your knee, so you do a slight bump to get me there. Okay, perfect. And now from that position, you're just turning from your right hip onto your left hip and you're pushing. Sweet. I'll just do it to get back. So again, just with the broken scarf. So again, you drop this down. A couple of bumps, and I'm just pushing. Get it on top. Okay, so remember. From there, the second round bumps and gets me on his hip, okay? Before he takes me back that way, if I have control of this arm, I'll just move my hips forward. See, if I'm over his chest, I'm not on his hips. I was originally just dropping your knee to the mat, so I was originally sitting through there, okay? So, I'm about to go, I feel I'm about to go. So I just, um, if, I have if I have the underhook and I have arm control, I'm just going to bring my hips further forward so I'm over his chest. Sometimes it'll be past the point of no return, just bring the knee back through there. If he gets his knee beyond my leg, and I'm worried about there, it's too late. I won't be able to go that far forward. But I can do the second way of staying on top. All I'm going to do is, before he turns his hip, I'm switching back to control two. Okay? So I'm bringing this knee, try to go for your move, I'm just scooping this. Okay. And there again. Anytime he bumps his hip and gets me sitting on his hip, this underhook too, I'll also bring it back. So I'll make it a roadblock on the opposite hip, and as he tries to um, go for the escape, I just turn my 
to my trampoline, the steps between my elbow and my knee, and then I just win the cross space, win the underhook, and I'm back into control turn, which you looked at a few weeks ago. So again, scar forward position, here, it gets me on that hip. First option is, I'll just move forward, okay? So I'm moved off his leg. Second option is, I'll bring my elbow back to clamp the far hip, okay? Just come out and the And then, I'm on the hip, I just switch my hips, so I'm turning into them and I'm making that connection. Try to move your hips now, bro. And then from there, I win my cross face, I win the underhook, and I'm starting to move the body and start to put that pressure on the space. So, let's play that again.